Geeky Master 84 coming at you. We have another episode of News and Esports. I do apologize for Mr. Bank Row 206. Will not be available tonight. Uh, we had some scheduling conflicts and then the gatekeeper did not let us record together. So I'm going to try to make this happen for the both of us so that way you guys can stay informed. Uh, but yeah, so a lot's been going down this uh, last week since we last talked to you guys about esports. Um, complete craziness, utter chaos, freaking insane stuff happening. Uh, so I just wanted to come at you guys, let you guys know a little bit of things that's going on. Uh, first thing in the news is Sony has decided to take its Sony Computer Entertainment and PlayStation Network services, um, ran by that, um, and put it all under one umbrella called uh, Sony Interactive Entertainment. Um, so now everything PlayStation will be under one umbrella, that is Sony Interactive Entertainment. They will be located out of San Mateo, California. Uh, pretty exciting for everybody down in California there. I think it's a good thing for Sony to uh, put everything in one um, one building, one maybe not one building, but one uh, location for all the decisions being made. Uh, can't possibly hurt to do that, so I think it's a good... go. Go you, Sony. Go you. Uh, in other news, we have missed the phases of news last week that I feel like we should have gotten. And that is that Geico is now sponsoring Team Solo Mid. And that's freaking huge, everybody. That's a um, legit sponsor. Like, just a normal day, run of the mill, sponsoring NASCAR, sp sponsoring golf events. Sponsor is now going to be sponsoring... Uh, a League of Legends, well, not mainly a League of Legends team, but also just an esports team in general. And uh, that's pretty epic, in my opinion. So, with that being said, y'all, let's move on to the next piece since we're keeping on League of Legends train. Uh, the report is coming in that League of Legends made $1.6 billion in revenue last year. Now, to give you guys an example of exactly how much that money that really means in the big term of gaming, it takes five other big games in esports to make that not really esports but just bigger games in general uh, you have uh, Dota you have CSGO World of Warcraft Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 it takes all five of those games to equal what Riot managed to push out in League of Legends last year they had 1.8 billion dollars combined, uh, while Riot pulled down the 1.6 off of its one game. Uh, that's pretty freaking crazy, if you ask me. Uh, obviously, League of Legends is a beast, and Lord only knows if it'll ever be taken down. Um, but go you, Riot, go you. Um, into some results we're going to be talking about here. Uh, for the League of Legends uh, European side... We had uh, G2 Esports versus Giants. Uh, G2 Esports took the victory there. Uh, Rock Hat versus Elements. Elements did manage to pull ahead of Rocket. Uh, Origin versus Uni Unicorns of Love. Unfortunately, stopped uh, Unicorns of Love in their tracks. Um, going for going for the being 3-0 uh, there, but unfortunately, Origin did stop them. Uh, Splice versus Team Vitality. Vitality did take down Team Splice. And then Fnatic didn't manage to take out H2K. Um, on to Friday. What happened Friday? We had Vitality versus Origin to start off the day. Uh, Vitality took or took down Origin. Elements managed to handle the Giants. Fnatic took down or lost to Unicorns of Love. Splice ended up beating Rocket. And G2 Esports was taken down by H2K, not allowing them to go 4-0. Um, it's pretty big news, you guys. That's, you know, those are the things that are happening. It's a pretty competitive scene over on the EU side of things. Um, in League of Legends, you actually have one, two, three, four, five teams right now that are all tied at three and one. Uh, Fnatic coming in at two and two, uh, holding down sixth place by themselves. Origin, Rocket, and Splice are all one and three. And unfortunately for the Newcomer Giants, um, starting off the season 0-4, but there are still games to be played, so don't count them out yet. Uh, they do have a tough road to climb uh, with the hole they have put themselves in, but who knows, maybe things will turn around for them and things will happen for them and uh, they'll be able to get out of the slump that they are in. Um, but with that being said, y'all, 
we are going to be moving in to some EU Call of Duty results. So we had, uh, we have, um, I'm just going to go over the standings this week, guys. Uh, Big Row is much more keen on the Call of Duty scene. Um, but we have uh, Millennium coming in at 4 and 1, Epsilon at 4 and 1. So a good little battle going on there. We got Vitality and Infinite at 3 and 2, along with Splice and Team LDLC. And XL, uh, TCM, Giants, and Pulse, or sorry, TCM and Giants are at 1 and 4. And poor Team Pulse is coming in at 0 oh and 5. So, poor Team Pulse coming in at 0 oh and 5 is not a, not a way you want to start your season. But then we are moving on now to talk about uh, some CSGO. Uh, FaZe bought themselves a CSGO squad. Uh, they bought the uh, G2, otherwise known as Gamers 2, um, or formerly known as Gamers 2, uh, for $700,000, making them the most expensive CSGO team ever. Um, it's craziness going on right there. I mean, that's a that's a lot of de de dinero to be spending on a CS:GO team. But apparently, Phase felt like it was a uh, good opportunity for him and a good idea to get into that. But we the only time will tell um, what what really comes from it. Uh, it's hard to say until then, but we shall see. Uh, so there was a last chance qualifier this weekend in CSGO uh, to qualify for the major coming up uh, next weekend, I do believe. Um, it was between Tort, Games Academy, Optic Gaming, Energy Esports, Winter Fox, and Team Solo Mid. Uh, the, there was only these six teams that were invited, all invites only. Um, we had Games Academy taking down Tort, Optic Gaming took down Energy, Winter Fox took out TSM, and then Splat, and then that was in the quarterfinals. The semifinals, Games Academy took down Splice pretty handily, 2-0. Winter Fox and Optic Gaming matched up pretty well, but Winter Fox managed to come out ahead. And then in the championship round, you had Games Academy versus Winter Fox, and Games Academy did manage to come out with a victory, 2-1. So, congratulations, Games Academy. Uh, we'll see you guys in the major. In other CSGO news, we have Echo Fox, the team owned by... Mr. One and Only Rick Fox, formerly know, formerly from the Los Angeles Lakers, um, has decided he's going to expand Echo Fox into CS:GO. Um, he's got uh, Mo and Sagaris uh, leading the charge, helping him make his team. Uh, he did come out and say that his vision for Echo Fox has always been much larger than League of Legends. League is clearly a key component and a great starting point as. The most played PC game in the world, but he is building, or uh, but I am building what I intend to be a preeminent esports empire. That's amazing news to hear from Rick Fox. I'm glad he's in this and taking it seriously. So, with that being said, let's see how Echo Fox is doing in the in the League of Legends. Sorry, guys. Uh, the League of Legends NA NA side of things. So in the League of Legends, we had Echo Fox unfortunately having a bit of a uh, visa issue. Um, so they unfortunately had to forfeit their their match against uh, Team Energy. Uh, we had Brennan Gates versus Dignitas. Dignitas did manage to pull out the victory. Liquid versus CLG. CLG handled, ha handled that pretty well. Uh, C9 versus Team Impulse. And, uh, Team Impulse did beat C9. And then TSM versus Immortals. And Immortals do what Immortals do, and they stayed alive and managed to pull out the victory against TSM. On Sunday, we had TSM versus Dignitas, TSM won. Energy versus Immortals, and Immortals won again. CLG versus C9, C9 recouped from the day before and managed to pull out the victory. Echo Fox versus Liquid with a patched together roster. Echo Fox, unfortunately, was taken down by Team Liquid. And Renegades versus Team Impulse, Team Impulse pulled out the victory. One side note I want to do say about the Immortals guys is Hooney and Rainover, uh, two members of uh, the Immortals, have won 24 of their 24 consecutive matches in a row in the LCS. 
holy crap. And then from how I've been seeing watching them play, I don't know how they're going to be stopped, honestly. So that leads us to come to the results for NA uh, LCS, or for the standings, I mean. Uh, we have Immortals coming in at 4 and 0, big strong 4 and 0, only ones left. Uh, Energy at 3 and 1. Then we have a uh, kind of a cluster here at 2 and 2. Uh, CLG, Team Impulse, Dignitas, C9, and TSM all 2 and 2. Renegades, Liquid, and Echo Fox are all 1 and 3. So right now it's shaping out. If I hope someone takes down Immortals and stops their streak because unfortunately. Well, the way they're going, I do not see it happening. So now let's move on to some North American Call of Duty results, everybody. So we have a big thing. Uh, everything just went down. Ended a little late. A lot of games ended up going to 3-2 and two in uh, tonight's Call of Duty World League matches. Uh, we have Optic and FaZe are 5-0 in North America. I mean, that shouldn't be a shocker to anybody, honestly. I mean, that's... Yeah, the two preeminent teams usually. We have H2K's Rise and Envy all at 3 and 2. Elevate TK, aka Team Caliber, Complexity, and Rush all at 2 and 3. And unfortunately for Luminosity, CLG, and Dream Team coming in at 1 and 4. So hopefully their season can turn around, win a few more games for their fans. So speaking of the Dream Team, uh, they were part of a huge, crazy thing that went down in the Halo Championship Series over the weekend. Um, literally the day before the day before uh, this last, before the uh, fourth qualifying event for the Halo Championship Series, there was a ridiculous, a ridiculous amount of moves being made. Um, all because CLG decided to drop Ogre 2 one of the most successful players ever in Halo. Um, and, and literally that one move, this whole snowball effect happened across, um, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different Halo Championship Series teams. And that is ridiculous. So I guess we'll start with the top here. So CounterLogic Gaming. Uh, they dropped Ogre 2 and replaced him with Lethal. Uh, he, and then by that happening, uh, EG decided, Evil Geniuses decided to um, leave, obviously leave Evil Geniuses, and then was replaced by Commonly. So sorry guys, I'm having to just, it's just a big, you know, people switching from team to team to team. So Commonly came over from Renegades. Then Renegades picked up Stellar from Optic Gaming. And then by Stellar leaving, um, there was also a big thing with them because one of their other team members, Cleet, uh, he thought he had an offer on the table. Um, unfortunately, didn't have the offer fell through for some reason, which with that, which, whichever team it happened to be. And he unfortunately... Uh, lost his position there, so he is not on a team, but that left uh, Flame Sword Maniac leaving to make a decision. Uh, they decided to go with Fear Itself and Posey, and by those two guys leaving, you then had Trigger's Pound. Uh, they picked up... Um, oh, sorry. Cleet did get picked up by Trigger's Pound, that's who was picked up there. That was uh, Trigger's Pound is actually made up of 50% of the Envious squad that decided to go solo after the top eight qualifying finish, uh, which doesn't make much sense to me. But Cloud and Hysteria were joined by Denoxide and and Cleet, aka Assault. And then Envious, after losing half their team, um, picked up. Let's see here. They picked up Ogre 2 and Arcanum to round off the roster uh, with Miquin and Pistola. Uh, Winter Fox, after losing Arcanum to Envious, uh, had a spot to fill. And so they picked up Domi, uh, former, formerly of Reality Check. So that's big news. 
and then let's see here oh and then <laughs> so then denial uh, announced their return and they brought in Contra and Prednovator from Disobey and Huck and Boo Boo uh, from Off the Pack and then that's so that's a new team that was made but they took people from another team and then Nighthawks also made another team uh, with Jesse Unleashed and Omega and Blazing Burton. So that literally all happened Saturday, guys. Sunday was the fourth qualifying event. Um, kind of crazy, but just, yeah. It, like, literally, I follow this, and it's even hard for me to really get into what's going on there. But, but on more Halo news... All right, apparently I have misplaced that. Give me one second. Thought I had all my notes ready. Let me just pull this up real quick. Here we go, you guys. So the teams that have already qualified for the North America Regional Finals for the Halo Tournament Series for the $2 million is... Team Allegiance, CLG, Evil Geniuses, Team Liquid, Renegades, Team Envious, Noble Esports, Dream Team, Triggers Pound, Elevate Wildcat, Denial Esports, Soar, Severance, Winter Fox, and Overdrive. There is a last chance qualifying event this Sunday. Be there, be square. The team that wins that will be the last team in for the North America qualifying event. Um, big news there, big time. Um, so we'll see what happens with all of that. Uh, we are, so with that being said, you guys, I, I, oh, sorry. One more thing on Halo X Games this weekend, uh, we, is going on, uh, Halo's back in the, in the mainstream of things, kicking butt, taking names. Make sure you guys, if you guys want to watch some, uh, Halo pros play in the game, make sure you all are tuning in to watch that action it will be in the x games uh, i'm pretty excited to watch that so we'll see what happens there um, with that being said you guys that is going to do it for tonight's episode of news and esports um, if you guys have any news that you feel like we missed uh, please let us know down in the comments below we will do our research and get into it next week but other than that, guys, make sure you guys are leaving those likes, comments, and subscribe. Greatly, greatly appreciate all the love and support that you guys are always been, that you guys have been giving us lately. And with that being said, you guys, this is the Keymaster eighty four. And on behalf of Big Road two hundred six, we'll see you guys all next time. Haters gonna hate, and we play games to make gains. Peace.